Hey there and happy Saturday. So I hope you guys are having a good weekend so far. Um, yesterday I just had to take care of some things around here um, and with my mom and family and different things going on and all of a sudden I went, you know what, it's so late in the day and I haven't got my card prepared and I'll be honest, I was kind of excited because I wanted to go to um, the new um, Tom Cruise Mission 7 movie. So I did that last night too and, uh, and I thought, you know what, today I'm just going to take some time and bring you yesterday's card today on a Saturday and, and I'm sure I won't get a lot of people live because it's a gorgeous day out and so hopefully you're enjoying that instead and can catch this on replay. So I'm going to be showing you um, the Earth and Elegance uh, Suite Collection here and I just love it. It's so pretty. I love all the textures um, between like the embossing folder that I'm adding today and just the, the texture within the paper and the dies and different things too in the stamp set. So with all of that I'm just I'm um, excited to kind of show you bits and pieces of kind of everything in the suite. Sometimes I'm only uh, showing like the paper or, you know, the stamp set or the dies or the bundle or something. But today I think I'm hitting all aspects of it. So that's kind of fun. Um, I'm just going to see if my... Um, if my Facebook wants to show where I am. So that way if somebody does join in, then... Um, then I can see the comments here. So, all right. But without further ado, I'm going to move my camera around so that you can see the card front and center here. Okay, there we go. All right. So, here it is. Let me get some better lighting on it. So I'm also using that new embossing folder, the um, exposed brick wall 3D embossing folder and love that I'm going to be using that a lot for you guys. And um, yeah, so let me get started with the card in general and where the, the different aspects are found. So the Earth and Texture stamp set here is part of this Earth and Elegance suite from the annual catalog here on pages 70 and 71. So you can see they gave us some gorgeous samples to start out with and it really showcases the amazing um, designer series paper and then this woven trim a lot of you were excited about the woven trim I love it when we get trim that just adds texture not so much just um, a ribbon to tie around or make a bow out of this is more just to add some texture so um, I'm excited about that and I'm also excited that it's back in stock because it was sold out for quite a while and isn't it cute how they just put that right on that vase to make that look like um, part of it like a wicker weave on there. So that's really cool. So I'm going to be using some of the papers and the stamps and dies in that trim. And because this is the first time using this, um, I like to kind of go through the paper um, just really quick, the designer series paper, just to show you the different patterns we have. So we have this, um, and it kind of matches one of the um, stamped images here. So we've got that pattern, and then just kind of a, a neat little like blue and misty moonlight um, color wash, Night of Navy, I would say. And then this is actually um, like a cross hatch. I would say, oh, I should look on the back of what color it is because a lot of times that helps you guys um, the moody mauve and um, then what I'm using for my vase to cut out is actually this pattern so it has a neat um, kind of like it could be masculine but a nice earthy look and this is such a fun pattern too um, it just really has depth in there with some neutral colors and then the back side of this is just kind of like a, a fun color wash there too. And this is so cool because it just looks like it's been fired in a kiln or something because of the um, deep texture in there. And then we've got some of this too for a texture on the background and then or on the back side. And then there's this pattern here kind of a coppery feel. It's not metallic at, in any way or anything, but kind of has that look to it. Hi there, Barb. And then this is a fun backside to this one too. And I think a lot of these patterns would be so great to um, cut out the dies to make the different um, vases and different things there too. So this looks like a giant s'more only because it's summertime, right? But um, otherwise I think it's a great pattern too. And then this is really fun too. I could see scrapbookers making like a big campfire scene with this um imagining it, that it's a s'more package so like i said this is um the piece i just cut a three inch strip off of um this is all 12 by 12 but um the three inch strip is what i'm going to be using for my vase today 
All right. And the sentiments in here, hey there, Tori, um, the sentiments in here are geared more towards thank you. And um, so I am going to just make um, today into a uh, thank you card for you guys. So um, my color scheme or my color palette is bringing in that new pebbled path color. Um, I love neutral tones. So it's a great kind of taupey gray color. And then I'm bringing in some crumb cake and that new boho blue um, and um, that's going to kind of be the color pattern here because I thought that would kind of um, um, just put a little lightness, um, pull that out of there. And a lot of times I don't think of like my browns and my grays going together too much, but I kind of like um, the pop that the crumb cake gave with the pebbled path today. So I'm going to start with... <clears throat> Um, just a piece of pebbled path four by five and a quarter and run that through my embossing folder with the exposed brick 3d embossing folder here or did I say I'm gonna run it through with my embossing folder while I am with my cut and emboss machine but you can see not only is there like um, the brick in there but there's a lot of that spatter look which um, you know, a lot of trendy homes have that look, that exposed brick look where the brick's kind of crumbling away and then what's left is the mortar in a fun way. So I'm going to put that through this. And so this is, um, because it's 3D, it's unlike the last one I did. So I'm going to use uh, plate number one, the chunky plate, and then plate number four on top for the 3D folder. I'll just put that through. All right. Oh, thanks, Tori. Yeah, the colors. Just, yeah, I don't know. Um, I think I, I didn't realize how much I use neutral colors until I had a friend point out, Belle, a lot of times when the cards that you bring for swapping, um, there are a lot of neutral tones and, and um, not even masculine cards like I did like a butterfly card, all neutral tones one time too. All right, so you can see here, um, let me get my camera or my lighting better, um, how fun it looks and you can see that it's really raised up nicely. But then even on the back side, a lot of demonstrators have been talking they're not sure if they should use this side or this side. I prefer this side and for today I'm going to show you why. I'm going to put that on some scratch paper here and then open up my Pebble Path ink pad and use our larger blending brushes here and I'm just going to pick up some of the ink in that um, counterclockwise way and then just put it on that same way. And um, because it's a darker, deeper tone, um, it's not gonna, you know, have that ooh-ah like putting it on a piece of white cardstock wood, but I do think it really adds a lot of layer to really get that on the edges. And then I'm just gonna kind of swirl lighter across the front too. And what that does is just takes all those areas um, that have been, you know, ran through and exposed with the embossing folder and brings that to light a little bit easier too um, by having some ink attached to that. So kind of a fun way to do that with any of the card colors and um, the embossing folders when it's um, raised like that in a fun way. Way. Hi there, Carol. Good to see you on here. All right, so I'll just set that aside. And actually now this is ready to build up on my card base. So my card base is also going to be that new pebbled path color. Um, and it's just folding, opening that way. And so I'm just going to take and get some adhesive on the back side of this, like so. And then I'm just going to go like that. And the reason I tip it over a lot of times versus going like that, just in case there is um, a heavier amount of ink that I'm not seeing, I don't smear that on my fingers and get it on my card later. <laughs> All right. So um, next what I want to be doing is I'm um, sending some things through my cut and boss machine. So I'm going to be um, switching out my plates to cut instead of emboss. I'm going to get that ink pad out of the way. And um, they have some really cool um, dies in here. So let me show you the set of dies. So the earthen texture dies look like like this. So we've got some of the vases and then this can be put actually like on top of here too um, for kind of a layered look. Um, it would be, you know, two different, you could have it be the same um, color of cardstock if you wanted. How do I want to say you have, you could have it be two different colors, but it just kind of adds um, and makes it bigger um, and taller like that. Or you can just add color variances, um, easier doing that. So another one of the vases is here. It's out because I'm using it. And then just some texture pieces that match um, 
with the stamp set and I'm using this one which doesn't have a stamp it's just going to be like the little um, wreathy looking thing and um, then this is just for texture and I thought this was really kind of fun too so I wanted to use it and just show you how sometimes just a texture die can really look kind of fun too. Belle. Oh, Carol says, Belle, I'm watching from South Carolina. Yes, you are on vacation there. So jealous. I love it when people are traveling. Like when people post things on Facebook, I'm more often um, like intrigued by their vacation photos um, than anything. I love watching people's, looking at people's vacation photos. And then this fell out um, just now. I saw it on my machine. This is really cool to put across the vases for um, a fun decorative uh, design that way too. So I'm going to tuck that back in so I don't lose it. Okay, so I think what I'm going to do first is run this texture piece through. And so I have this um, boho blue piece and that is about three and a half by one inch. I'm just gonna lay it right on top of there and then run that through like so. And I have to show you this because it, it's just so exciting. Kind of makes it now look like a rug. How fun is that? But um, I'm sure if you look anywhere, you'll see all sorts of ways that this has been used. It could practically just be ran through maybe a few times here and there um, instead of like this exposed brick pattern here to make like a background too. So that's what that turns out looking. And then I was kind of the DSP on this, but um, this is what it would look like. I took the stamp, here it is, this one, and that is the one that coordinates with the die. And you can see it's etched and everything and modeled, so it's not like this is like what happened to that. That is how it comes out. And I wanted to show you guys that because um, this is um, also stamped in crumb cake, not the pebbled path. But then I went, you know what? I kind of just like the paper for this, kind of the way it was heading in my mind. Hi there, Becky. Um, so that's why I did that. And then I'm going to take um, kind of this frond image. It almost looks like a palm frond. And I'm going to run that through. We actually need two boho blue, um, but I'm just gonna run one through because I've already ran one the other one through ahead of time just to save you guys time watching me because you get the gist of it. Um, so I'm just going to lift that off. So um, this would be kind of fun to make like an Easter card out of. You know, I see things like um, this time of year, but when it comes to Easter, well, I remember that it looks like a palm frond to use for a card for that. All right, then I'm going to take my crumb cake here and run this through and then we should be done with the cut and emboss machine here. So, so that frond actually gets ran through three times, two in boho blue, blue and then once in the crumb cake. All right, so we've got that. I love my little take your pick tool. Usually I use it for embellishments, but it's great for getting it off my cutting and embossing machine too. So now I can just basically take all these pieces and um, just start assembling them. So I'm going to take this piece here <clears throat> that looks like the rug, and some of you might go, okay, does the other side look like something you could use, kind of like our embossing folders? You kind of pick or choose, you know, which is which, but it really doesn't. It just kind of makes it look like um, textured in a just silly way, just from being pressed against the, uh, the cutting uh, pad. So, so that I'm just gonna leave, but I'm going to put a couple strips here of adhesive down on this. And then I'm just going to lay this across here. So it's almost like, kind of like a rug or something. Okay, so I've got that laid down. And now I wanna pull out that trim. So this is that trim I was talking about that I'm excited that, yeah, you could use it as a ribbon, but I'm using it more as like an embellishment because I love the texture of it. So I'm just gonna cut off a section here. I think this would look great too with that new Gone Fishing bundle, just cause it has kind of that fun ropey look to it. And let me just press in to a glue dot here and give it kind of a squeeze. And then I'm gonna do another glue dot here. If I put it on the end where it's cut, it kind of holds that pattern together a little bit after I lay it back out too. So I'm just gonna put this pretty much across the middle here of that boho blue um, section there like so. <coughs> All right, so now to assemble um, my vase and my three um, fronds here, what I'm going to do is just slip, uh, 
um, put this over. Yeah. Um, can't think of my words today. It must be Saturday. <laughs> All right. And I just want to get a couple dimensionals close to the top so that when I put this over, they're going to stick to those fronds and um, hold them in place. And then I'm just only going to need like one more in the middle and one at the bottom. But like I said, I wanted um, a good amount of adhesive towards the top and I knew I wanted dimensionals just to catch those fronds to keep them in place there. So then I'll just kind of lay this. Whoops, I want this at the top. Um, no, I want this at the bottom. There we go. It's got kind of a little bit of a lip. So I want that there. And then I kind of know, okay, I want the two blues to kind of crisscross. They kind of have to stay pretty much um, down the center because this is a narrow vase and otherwise they'll kind of plop out the side of the vase um, hanging out um, in a weird way. So I'm just going to kind of go like that, lay it down and press it. So like I said, you don't want those fronds to go over. Otherwise they'll stick out here and here and that doesn't look natural, does it? And then now they're tucked in. So when I tug, give it a little gentle tug on all of them. I know they're secured by the dimensionals that are in place there too. So um, pretty easy to do that. Hi there, Margaret. Thanks for joining in on my Saturday, my Saturday uh, video. All right, so now I need um, a sentiment. And like I said, there was a lot of good um, thank you type sentiments in here. So I'm just gonna grab this little strip of crumb cake to kind of tie that color in again and just stamp that out. <coughs> Excuse me. I'm using that pebbled path for that. And let me just take a sip here. About the time I think, you know what? I am getting better than now today we are <coughs> excuse me, bombarded with like that smokiness. I don't know if you guys all have it where you are too, but we're getting nailed with that today. And I feel like I can tell that it's, it's here. Okay. So just want to trim that. It says your thoughtfulness is much appreciated. I feel like this font, I don't know why when I see this, it reads um, like a, a fortune cookie. That's what I think it is. So you can keep that in mind in case you need um, something like a, a theme party and want some fortune cookie things or something like that. But that's what that font and size reminds me of there. And this I'm just going to pop up as well with a couple dimensionals like so and then that's gonna go right above my kind of little area rug here <laughs> and I'm just gonna put that right there and it just really ties in the color like of this frond here um, with that too and just kind of feels like it completes the card a little bit that way um, but it is not complete because if you know me we have to pull out the accessories or the embellishments um, so for today, I wanted to pull back out these in color, the 2023 through 2025 in color dots. And so those, like I said, are all the in colors. And I'm just going to take my spatula here and lift up the largest um, one here and kind of just find a flat spot if possible. Here's one and um, put that down there. And then I'm going to pick up the medium one here and place that kind of in a spot that's flat. These are really nice embellishments because um, they are pretty flat themselves. So as far as mailing and different things like that, it'll be easy to pop in the mail because um, there's not a lot of oomph. They're way less um, flat than a um, dimensional itself too. So I feel like that just kind of ties in um, with the card and then it fills in that open space off to the side in an elegant way, which is kind of the earth and elegance style of it. Um, oh, so, okay, Margaret said she loves the bundle, but tried to order it, and it's out. Oh, I didn't even look, because last I checked, it was in. So sometimes, okay, sometimes, too, if you're using um, the code that orders the whole suite, it will get you the bundle, it'll get you the paper, and for the longest time, this trim was out of stock. So now that the trim's back in, maybe the whole collection will allow you to order it that way too. So hopefully the bundle's not sold out for now, but if it is, it will be back in soon. Um, but yeah, I forgot to check on that because um, I thought once the trim was back in, we were all set again. Um, oh, let me um, finish the card with the inside. I almost forgot that. I was so into 
um, answering Margaret there. And I love it when you guys chime in because um, I, I love answering your questions in live time in case other people have that, that same question. So for the inside, I'm just going to take some basic white um, four by five and a quarter and the stamped image from the stamp set. And it just kind of looks like something that would fit in one of the vases too. And I'm just going to finish it with um, some more pebbled path ink and the thank you here. So we've got that. So the reason I brought this over is because the stamp, as you can see, is kind of long. So it goes off the edge there, like so. And then um, with the, your thoughtfulness is much appreciated, then the thank you goes on the inside. Sometimes I'm um, hesitant to use like um, this in the inside if I'm using thank you on the outside because I've often said sometimes thank you can be for a gesture, an actual item, you know, just a person being a person. Thank you for being genuine sometimes. But I thought, oh, this really ties it together to have that there and then... Um, that there. Okay, so Margaret was saying it was on that free shipping day. Yeah, I think it was the trim that was out. So you should be able to try that maybe again and see if this is all in. But I love how that finishes. And that pebbled path, I think, is going to be one of my new favorite colors there. Um, and like I said, um, mostly gray, but kind of a little bit of a hint of taupe in there as well. So that's my inspiration for you guys today. I was glad to get back and kind of finish my week with the third card for you like I had planned because um, we had a family get together for lunch um, at my mother and father-in-law's and then my boys, my two youngest boys play amateur football on Saturdays in the summer. And so got my uh, Laker t-shirt on to support them and uh, we'll head off to their game shortly here because it's playoffs. They start today. So i um, kind of squeezing everything in today, but it feels good to have a full plate on a Saturday when it's really nice outside and kind of that sunshine inspires me, even if the smoky is getting to me as well. So um, I will see you guys next week. Um, probably on Tuesday will be my first day back for stamping anyway, but I'll be stamping um, in the background a lot in between now and then. So see you later. Thanks so much, Becky. You have a great day too. Bye-bye.